Thank y'all for tuning in to Faith in Jesus Ministry. My name is Mike Barclay, the preacher man. Boy, I got a good message for you today. It's going to bless you. We love coming into your home on YouTube and Facebook and the internet and television and blessing you and making you a blessing. You better hit your DVR button. Brother Mike's going to preach again. Honor is the currency of elevation. Honor and honor what God honors. God anoints a pastor. We should honor that. You all just don't have a pastor. You have a global leader in general. The body of Christ. This is a man of God. It's not a brother or a friend. I'm a father figure. Wisdom, my integrity, my anointing. Phenomenal gift to the body of Christ. It's a crime not to take a moment to honor Brother Mike Barclay, Faith in Jesus Ministries. This is the last service. I don't plan on being the weekly. How many people are ready for the word of God on Facebook and YouTube and the internet this afternoon? Who comes to steal, kill, and destroy? But I have come so you may have life and have it more abundantly. Some church folks may mean to be the most boring folk, the most complacent folk. Never have a smile on your face. How somebody's going to get saved looking at your face? we will make school mandatory and God optional. It was great, but they need a foundation in the word more than anything else. Look at your crazy, pull off that belt, and swing it ninja style. I planted you in a safe place, not only for you to grow and mature, but to flourish and thrive. If God wants to take you to a new place. If God is pulling the arrow back before he releases you into your destiny. He's not holding you back. He's pulling you back. And the further he pulls you back, the further you'll go. Matthew 26 and 36 says this, And Jesus came to them, a place called Gethsemane, here while I go and pray. He encouraged you that Jesus did not choose the twelve brightest men in Jerusalem. I had to bring them to Gethsemane to teach him again what he just taught to the master. I'm sure his disciples were standing behind him, and that's right, the parable of the lost coin. So what's that nigga talking about? The parable of the lost sheep. I don't know what he's saying. Twelve regular dudes that happened to be open to the teaching of the Holy Spirit. Looking for willing workers, willing to get their hands dirty. Want people to know that you used to struggle, you used to lust, you used to sin. You have addictions to cocaine, marijuana, meth, crack, heroin, alcohol, pain pills, cigarettes. I kill that in the name of Jesus. You want to come in here and act like you have it all together. That's a supernatural testimony to the grace of God, to the goodness of God. Looking for God, not only would you wouldn't be here, you shouldn't be here. You want to see the supernatural, stop looking around and look in the mirror. Stop looking for the next thing when you already have the best thing, the real thing. Say, I want to go to church that allows me to be me. You can go to a church like that anywhere. It loves everybody as they are. If you grow in him, what you were is not what you'll become. Stop looking for a place that'll validate your brokenness. We're all broken. Let the Lord change your character. The days are over. When the days that you're playing church is over, no more watered-down preaching preachers. Watching and you're a preacher, preach the word of Christ and Him crucified. The only way to the Father, unrepented sin, injection of the Son will get you sent to hell. Write it, but I believe. Preach it, preach it. Don't change it to save people. People are scared to preach the word. They won't give. Then so what? To be pleasing to God than pleasing to man. The Bible is still right. Jesus is still holy. God is still on the throne. This is coming back. we got to repent of our sins. The Holy Ghost is in this place, and you need the Holy Ghost to live a holy life. I'm always rushing to get into buildings so they can feel the next big thing. Go home and not change. In the supernatural power of God, and you have the same addiction 30 years later. I hadn't said nothing about that. The time I checked, when you encounter Jesus, everything changes. Your character changes. Your mindset changes. Perspective changes. Your conversation changes. You get out of the show when you get into his presence, you grow. Show is over. Smoke and mirrors and flashing light. None of it changes you. This is the Word made flesh. Nobody's more supernatural than Jesus. You know who he was till he's 30 years old. Be anointed and not announced. This wasn't announced till he was 30. The Son of God when he was 12, when he was 22. It wasn't announced till he was 30. It wasn't time for him to be announced. Once my father releases me, I'm going to be a problem for the kingdom of the darkness. Here to spend religion. I'm here to usher in relationship. In this show, the show is over. Jesus is in the building. The word has been made flesh and dwells among us. The scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. It's the book. Set down. Boom. The church was born in that moment. He got the church not ready for his presence, but ready for his absence. The disciples didn't even know they were witness to the new birth. Even the people in your family don't understand you because they saw you grow. Do you win? They wrap their minds about who they saw then as something different now. More power and anointing now than you ever had. Here's the thing. You had it then, but it just didn't manifest it. Now they don't know how to take you. Oh, you think you're better than somebody. I was anointed, but I didn't anoint myself. I cried, and I prayed, and I fasted, believed, and I fought for it. Make me. I didn't call me, but he did it. 
for to show somebody you don't have to come from the best. You don't have to have all the degrees. He would use you if you're available. The show is over. Family thinks you're crazy. They always have them. Stop trying to explain to people you can't see with the natural eye. That Joseph's son, that's the carpenter's boy. It's so annoying. Why didn't he show up when we were growing up? Because it wasn't his time. It's time. Who you are for what you care. The thing he said, it's time. No more delay, no more denial, no more process. Just receive. This is the moment you've been waiting for where chaos and darkness way to creation. Does it make no sense we'll be given clarity in this moment? The resources been held hostage have to come forth now. Relationships that were tended to this will now produce fruit. Businessmen and women will come and bring resource. The kingdom on earth will be established. It's time. It's just about building houses and land. Before the end of the year, you'll have sevenfold manifestation. Word seven means complete. For all of you here on Facebook and YouTube and the internet and television, there'll be a manifestation of what he declared. While you're worshiping, you need to sow into this atmosphere. You're still going to get a blessing whether you give an offering or not. Every time somebody says money, you're reminded of the show. You gave, but nothing changed. The show was over. It's about to bring unprecedented financial windfall to you and your house. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I hear an inheritance coming. Inheritance is coming. The Holy Ghost in here, the show is over, and inheritance are coming for those that need, like me, that are hidden. I went to a church in my hometown. They wouldn't even let me sing in the choir. They let Brother Mike sing in the choir. I came out of a Baptist church saying, I have, hey, I've been licensed to preach. They said, good, sit down. I'll sit you down around the people that should see you. When it raises you up, they can't get credit. When you've been waiting for men and women to validate you, they can't. I won't let them because he made you. He made you for himself, not for show. The show is over. We're always rushing to get inside the building so they can experience something. I'm about if they uh, focus on the building, they'll get closer to Jesus. He just said, I'm the door. You want to see Jesus, you run to the altar, but he's the door of the sheep. You're looking for platforms and people to please your flesh. The show is over. In the show, you have value for every person. I believe the show, everybody matters. I believe the show, you fight for those who can't fight for themselves. I believe the show, even if they come in broken or lost, I'm in a different package than what you expect. Maybe they don't have church clothes. Maybe they don't look and smell like a church person. The person's supposed to look like, that's a show talk. I pray for you on Facebook and YouTube and the internet that God will give you his mantle, his supernatural blessing. You stay faithful and humble and remember this moment that you did it, not him. The Bible says with loving kindness, I draw you to me. Stop being weird and start being relational. Just want you to know, Brother Mike's got your back. We're praying for you. We're praying for your needs. I presume you are a prophet. Ding, 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 whatever gave you that idea. She runs to her village and says, Come meet a man that told me everything I ever did. It's a woman that's so broken and met Jesus at the well. She's been married five times. Clearly, if she was married five times, she wanted to do it right. This was the first one that saw her value but didn't want something from her. They said, If you drink from this well, you'll never thirst again. Saying you've been looking for peace and hope and relationships, but they failed you. I tell you, there is something that will satisfy who you on the inside. She was probably an attractive woman because you can't get five men unless you got some kind of attraction. Because I don't want you for your external. I want to speak life to your internal. Even though you're walking in brokenness, Jesus is here to bring holiness. To where she was, he knew where she would be, he knew what she was walking through. not stop him from loving her. He went in her power and told many in the village and many in the village got saved. One who's broken, living in sin, in one conversation gets saved. He went into a preacher, changed her city. Oh God, you give me a revelation to speak to one person, and that be saved at many. A woman who other people have thrown to the side now become a part of biblical history. She was a recipient of the grace of our great Lord and Savior. Our challenge is to extend that great love that we've been given to those that need it. Lord, how can I stretch myself out of my comfort zone to win souls to the kingdom? But many of us like our safe place. All like our safe places. There are people out of the ark of safety. Don't know love in Jesus. But you have two valuable to keep to yourself. This greatness with all these resources and all that God has given you. Consider to tell you how you can fight for one soul to get that last man into heaven in the next three months. We're going to pray for him and say, Lord, how do I win this? You can't win the world, but you can win one. Which one of you win one? You're going to have to add another service. The power of the real Jesus. We pray for you. I'm going to pray now. Father, thank you for this church. For all these wonderful people on YouTube, the internet, television, and Facebook. I thank you for the beauty that the faith in Jesus ministry. Prayer is that you would strengthen them to understand the power they carry. All win souls to Christ. Prayer takes. We'll fight for those who can't fight for themselves. I've been honoring you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. If you'd like to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, just say with me this simple prayer. Jesus, 
I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you said that simple prayer with us, we'd like to believe you got saved. Get into a good Bible preaching church. Put God first place in your life. He'll take the place you never dreamed. Stay tuned for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and show you his kindness, his love, his mercy, his happiness, and his joy. May he crown your head with a crown of favor. May he open the windows of heaven for blessings upon your life. You have no room to receive. In Jesus' name. We thank you at Faith in Jesus Ministries for your faithful financial support. Helping me preach the gospel to the ends of the world. Helping me to get that last ear to hear about Jesus. We choose Jesus. We figured out YouTube. It cost about a dollar per viewer to get people saved. So if you send me $10, I'll get 10 people saved. And you'll have 10 mansions in heaven. If you send me $20, I'll get 20 people saved. And you'll have 20 mansions in heaven. If you send me $1,000, I'll get all your family and friends into heaven in Jesus' name. We're debt free, so if you send me $20, that whole $20 goes to the world of evangelism. If you send me $1,000, that whole $1,000 goes to the world of evangelism. We're debt free, please, by Jesus' name. We'd like to thank you for your uh, partnership with Faith in Jesus Ministries. For any dollar amount partnership, we'll send you the DVD of the month. It's my most fabulous, famous sermon on YouTube sent to your home on a DVD so you can enjoy it at home. Or you can get all 273 sermons that I preached at Faith in Jesus Ministries for a $90 donation in Jesus' name. So we'd like to bless the gift and bless the giver 30, 60, 100 fold and 1,000 times return for blessing faith in Jesus' ministry for seed money in Jesus' name. We'd like to pray for you right now to get the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Be sure to like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel to get some good Holy Spirit filled preaching in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and may you keep you.